Is that an AMG? Kinda looks like it. Got an S55, or I don't even know. Sorry, I'm out of frame there. Yeah, it's something like that. Welcome to today's vlog, guys. It's uh, 5.26 p.m. We're downtown, I'm headed to the bank. They close in a half an hour. Um, today's been a very much an inside day so far. Been doing YouTube stuff. I started off with about three hours in my watch later, watch later playlist, and I've got that down to about uh, probably about an hour now. So making progress with that. I got paid across the street finally, so I'm gonna head over to the bank and drop that off. And um, I don't really know what else is going on today. Usually it's Friday fill up. I'm at just under a quarter tank, so I suppose I'll do that sometime before the end of the day. We'll see if we see any Ferraris today. I'll be sure to film them. Okay, so I saw it and I knew what it was, and I wish I knew how I, how I and I wish I knew how to make this camera focus ever. We have two F10s over here, and one of them is a real car. Um, I'm on my way to Silver Lake to do a couple things for the GP, but. Uh, all right, so firstly we have a um, 535, and that is an M5, pre-facelift F10, very nice. Totally just creeping on this guy's car here. It's a good thing I don't care, it's got uh, the, the automatic, of course. And are these supposed to be chrome? Because they're not in very good shape. This car has a car seat in it, B&O sound system. It's got a car seat, the seats are filthy, it's got tons of crap inside. We got the 535 and an A6, it's friggin' expensive German car land right here, I love it. Alright, time to go. So, that one works, that one works, there's one over there on the house that works. We're gonna walk here, hmm, that one's not working, but that one is. I really, really, really hope it's a light bulb because that would be easy to fix and I think I have a couple extra surplus light bulbs down in my basement. So I'm gonna go look for them. So down in the basement I found three bulbs. One was new in packaging and then two were just kind of floating around in various containers and stuff. So I took the two that were floating around up here, or out here, and check it out. It works. That means I'm not gonna have to pull the, the wiring out of the ground. My dad and I did this probably 10 years ago now uh, when we redid all the landscaping up here, maybe more than that. But we ran PVC pipe, probably three quarter inch PVC pipe, I don't know, maybe half inch, down the transformers right inside this window here. There's an electrical outlet. So then it comes out here and then there's a conduit junction box for all five lights as it moves along. So the idea behind that was to keep all of the wires insulated from weather and, you know, shovels if we're out here planting something or stuff like that. And it worked really well until this box, one of the screws broke or something on, the, and on it and then the lid on the box wasn't, uh, creating a seal anymore. It got filled with mud and water and then I've had to dig this up like three times to fix it. All of the other ones, as far as I know, are still solid and and uh, contained, closed up since we put them in. So, I mean, I've never replaced a bulb in that one. I've never replaced a bulb in that one. I have in the end one. Look how dim it is. I should go get that extra one and see if that's brighter. I think they're like, some of them are 25 watts and some of them are 40, but now they're all at least working. Now, it isn't great at night, no camera is, unless it's got night vision, but it's so much better than the flip. You can easily see the intricacy in the, in the stuff here. I bet we could even zoom in on that, and it would look pretty decent. Leave me some comments. What are your thoughts on this new camera? I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. Um, I think my biggest complaint, I think there's two. One, it takes forever to focus sometimes. It's not as easy as the flip to pull out and just hold and push a button. It was always, it was always focused, which means that it wasn't really great at focusing on anything, but it was always there. And now this one isn't, I have to manually focus it. So that's one. Two, to charge the battery, I have to physically take it out of the camera. And then there's this little thing that you plug in the wall and you put it in there. The flip, whenever I would plug it in to uh, import the videos off it at the end of the day, would automatically charge the battery. So now I have to, to manually take time out of the day to throw that in there overnight and then hopefully remember it the next morning to put it in. Now having said that, I've only done that twice in the time that I've had this camera. So the battery lasts a while and I should probably buy another one if they're not too expensive and keep it in my desk or something just so I have it on hand. So for the last week, whenever I park on a hill, I get this thing, ding, ding, washer fluid low. Damn it, 
at least it's cheap to fix. So I gotta go over to Lowe's or Walmart or somewhere and get a thing of washer fluid and put that in there, especially this time of year, and shut that up. And then two, I wanna get some silicone sealant for this door seal that I replaced on uh, Thursday, Wednesday, I don't know what day that was. Um, probably just a good idea to keep these uh, lubricated. It'd be like cheap preventative maintenance. So I'll do this one and probably all the other seals on the car too. This is what we found after we got gas in the M5. Kenan's here. Hey guys. It's a yellow um, GT kind of hardtop. I actually like that a lot more than the Spider. Yeah, I wouldn't. That looks buy nice. No, but I, I like it. It looks good in yellow. Well, I like on the on the sport they have, or the I don't remember what package it is, but it has the little little doo-wop. Yeah, I like the doo-wop.